we want to determine if the given series converges or diverges. So if we take a look at our infinite series, notice that a sub n is n divided by the quantity two n squared plus one. Notice how the denominator is one degree higher than the degree of the numerator. And this might help us decide on the most appropriate test. Looking at our options to determine convergence or divergence, notice that none of the options from number two stand out. The given series is not geometric, it's not a p-series, and it's also not telescoping or alternating, which leads us to option three or option four. And I think for our series, the integral test is going to be the best option because again, as we noticed, the degree of the denominator is one degree higher than the degree of the numerator, which means we can probably find the integral using u substitution. If the integral test doesn't work, I think our best bet would be to use either a direct or limit comparison test. But let's start by reviewing the integral test before we apply it. For the integral test, if f of x is a positive decreasing and continuous function on the interval from one to infinity closed on one, such that f of n is equal to a sub n, then if the integral converges, then the series converges, and if the integral diverges, then the series diverges. A couple things to note about the integral test. The integral does not necessarily need to start at one. The function does not necessarily always need to be decreasing. It just needs to be decreasing for some x value larger than one. So going back to our series, if this is a sub n, we need to recognize that f of x, the function we'll integrate, would have to be x divided by the quantity two x squared plus one. So let's go ahead and set up our integral. We'll have the integral from one to infinity of x divided by the quantity two x squared plus one dx. Well, notice how we have an improper integral, so we'll have to change our notation, and we'll also have to use u substitution to integrate this. So we're gonna let the denominator be equal to u, so we'll have u equals two x squared plus one, and therefore differential u is gonna be equal to four x dx. We'll notice if u is our denominator, then we're left with x dx, so let's go ahead and solve this for x dx by dividing both sides by four, which means x dx is equal to one-fourth du, or du divided by four. So this is gonna be equal to, because we have an improper integral, the limit as b approaches infinity. I'm gonna go ahead and leave off the limits of integration right now, because we're gonna write this integral in terms of u. So again, x dx is equal to one-fourth du, so we'll have one-fourth times the integral, and then du, and then u is our denominator, so we just have one divided by u. So this is gonna be equal to the limit as b approaches infinity. This is gonna be just one-fourth natural log u, or one-fourth natural log of u, which is two x squared plus one. The limits of integration are from one to b. So now we'll have the limit as b approaches infinity, and I'll perform substitution first with b, so we'll have one-fourth natural log two b squared plus one, minus one-fourth, and we'll substitute one for x, so we'll have natural log two times one squared is two plus one, would be natural log three. Well notice as b approaches infinity, one-fourth natural log two b squared plus one is approaching infinity, and therefore this limit is approaching positive infinity, which does not exist, and therefore this integral is divergent, and therefore the given series is also divergent. So by the integral test, with f of x equal to x divided by the quantity two x squared plus one, and f of n is equal to a sub n. Since the integral from one to infinity 
of f of x dx diverges, the given series also diverges. That's going to do it for this example. I hope you found this helpful.